which is in flakes in the powder and if you want to enjoy the, uh, the texture of those uh, flakes of Kovacha chocolate then use cold water or cold milk when you mix this powder. The alternative is if you want something smooth. Um, traditionally mousse generally is a, of a smooth texture, not necessarily always has to be like that. Um, but if you're looking for a smooth texture, then my recommendation is that your milk or water that you use is at about 45 degrees C and that will melt the Kovacha chocolate in the powder. So the end result is a very smooth paste. So come forward and I'll show you and explain to you as we go how to do it. Okay, so here we have the powder and a measured 150 mils of water at 50, uh, 45 degrees C. We mix that in with the powder. And as you can see, it goes together quite easily. And because it's warm, the Kovacha chocolate will melt. Now that paste is quite warm and my recommendation would be to cool the paste before you mix in the, uh, the cream. This is what the paste looks like after it's been cooled. You can see it's, it's a lot firmer than the other one. Now the important thing is when mixing in the cream that you maintain an even texture through the mousse. So what we're going to do is instead of mixing in 20% of the cream which we would do when the mousse, when, when the powder's just made with cold water, we're only going to mix in about 5% of the total volume of cream. So we don't need to fold it, we're just looking for an even texture. Okay, so you can see the texture of the paste has come to a very even consistency, there are no lumps and the Kovacha chocolate is completely melted. So now we can comfortably add the remaining cream. You can do this on a large machine if you want to. Um, using a dough hook and uh, you would have the cream already whipped. There we go. Complete. Variations on this, instead of adding milk or water, you could add uh, espresso coffee and make a white chocolate mocha mousse. You could add some Kahlua or Tia Maria or um, some rum, whiskey, fruit juice like uh, pineapple juice or strawberry juice. You can make a, a really strong infusion 
of um, green tea and make a white chocolate green tea mousse. So as you can see, the versatility of the product is amazing. Um, as I said before, you can add tea infusions, you can add juices, you can add alcohol, you can add other powdered ingredients um, to the base and create some really amazing flavors. The textures you can change around. Um, you can use this with, you can change the dairy. You can use yogurt instead of cream. You could use ricotta cheese, cottage cheese, um, you can even use uh, cream cheese to make a, a cheesecake, like a, a thick Philadelphia style cream cheesecake. Uh, it's all very, very easy and accessible. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.